In this video, we're going to guide you through how you can request a refund for games on Steam and actually get it. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It really helps out the channel. Now, there are several of reasons why you might want to refund a game on Steam, but the main conditions are that your purchase was made within the last 14 days or you played a game for less than two hours. To start the refund process, you're going to want to go to the top menu and find the help section. It should be above this little community tab, just like so. Go ahead and click on it and then find Steam support. Go ahead and open this up. And once you get to this page, you'll see an option that says purchases. Go ahead and click on this little arrow next to it. And you're going to see a few different options on this thing right here. Click view complete purchasing history to see every single game that you've ever played and purchased on this section. You're going to want to find the game that you would like to go ahead and refund. For example, I guess we'll do Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted Curse of Dreadbear. Oh my god, that was a mouthful. And even though this DLC is absolutely fire, I'm going to show you how you can refund it. Essentially click on it just like so. And then you're going to see an option that does say you would like a refund. So go ahead and click on that option right here. And then click on the I like to request a refund again right here. And it's going to tell you a few different things. It's going to say, number one, you're refunding it from the day that was it was purchased right here. So it says May 19th to whatever card you have right here, or you could also do it to like your Steam wallet or balance or whatever. It's gonna say it's gonna remove whatever game that might be. It's gonna tell you the total getting refunded again. And from here, you need to go ahead and make sure you list why you're refunding this. Now, you don't wanna put something like, it's not fun, the game is too difficult. That kind of stuff isn't gonna actually get you your refund. I usually go with my issue isn't listed just like so. And in the notes section, just say game doesn't work on system. I think that's the best way to actually get a refund because if the game isn't working itself, they don't really have a choice but to refund you if that makes sense. But yeah, once you get all of that done, simply go ahead and hit submit request at the bottom and your refund request is going to be sent. If it's approved, you'll get your money back. If not, you can try again in the future. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Have a great day.